today I'm working on my longboard. Um, if you looked at my last video, um, the longboard to me was going kind of slow, or it looked like it was wasn't going too fast on certain stuff. Um, I realized that I've had my longboard for about like a good three, four years now, and I never really cleaned the bearings. I changed the wheels, but again, that was like three, four years ago. So I've looked up on the internet really quick on how to um, clean your wheel bearing stuff, and uh, I just bought some stuff. The stuff is this stuff here. Speed cream. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of like, um, I guess it's just, it's just like lubrication um, that you put in the bearing. So I figured I'd show you how to do it. Now this is my longboard. It's a Sector 9. That's what it says here. Just a regular Sector 9 longboard. I bought this for about 150 bucks. Um, and that was four years ago, but $150 for me back then was a lot, but looking back at it, this thing has seen so much action and stuff, like the whole end of it's actually like kind of chipping off and stuff, and everything kind of needs to be replaced. I've never even touched it at all, but, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's seen a lot of action. I know like a lot of people, they, they actually like re, uh, they resurface this and stuff, but you know, I'm not really going to do that. If it breaks, it breaks. It lasted me like four or five years already, so... Um, but yeah, let's get started. Now, you're only really going to need a couple tools. And the first thing you kind of need is kind of a long board. Well, not really these. Really only one. So, get one of those. Should um, It's a size. I don't know the exact size. But I think they actually kind of vary between what you're, you know, between what long board and what stuff you're using. So, you're going to get an extension. Stick it on there, as so. There's one little bolt here, and that's all that needs to be taken off. So, um, that's it. Um, so when you take them off, just kind of put it in like a spot where you won't lose it. There's the nut on the long board, that is. Now there should be two bearings. One bearing in the front, place it there. There it is, another bearing here. There's two bearings all together. The bearings are actually the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them, but place them in a spot where you won't lose them. There's that side. Literally nothing to it. It's literally, you just open it up. So you're gonna take the wheel, put it around the metal part here, flip it over, around the metal part, and then you're gonna do the inside. There's actually a small, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's a small little bearing right in there. And you're literally just gonna squeeze the bottom, squeeze it all around there. Same thing on the other side. And then you're going to take the wheel that you just did and just do that. Just roll it. The other bearing that was on the wheel, same thing. Carefully just apply a little bit around that bearing as well. And then put everything back together. So you're going to slip the other bearing on. Next, you're going to really put on the wheel. So it just should just slip on as so. Like that. Sometimes the small little bearing will get caught, so you might have to just have to take a flathead or even one of these and just kind of get in there like jab it so it goes in straight. The bearing on just should slip on. After you put the bearing on and wheel you're going to take your nut and also you're gonna just going to lubricate the same thing a little bit Then you're going to carefully let it on or just get it started kind of tighten it. Next you're going to twist your wrench here the other way around and you just want to go tight enough where the wheel won't fall off. It's kind of the same thing as a car. You don't want to over tighten it, but tighten it to the point where it's just nice and snug.
So the longboard wheels are awesome. Um, I don't notice a difference in speed, but I do notice is a difference in between um, drift, like going long drifting pretty much. So before they would kind of stop and I'd have to keep pushing. Now, after one push, it just keeps going. So I, so yeah, I could say the, the lubrication worked. Um, definitely worth three bucks. I advise getting it if anyone hasn't gotten anything like that yet for the longboard. It's worth the three dollars because I noticed that the board just keeps going. The momentum keeps going after one or two pushes rather than pushing like four or five times. So definitely worth three bucks. Um, yeah.